Uh, from a South Carolina Met, Representative Scott, our whole delegation. We're going to, if you name a post office, you're going to be talking about the NLRB. This is huge to my state, to our state. This is huge to the country. As Mike just said, we can't have this lingering out there for years. If you're about to make a business decision to expand in the United States, don't you want to know what the NLRB's authorities really are? And if they can have a complaint sitting on their desk for a year and take it up and shut down your business and move you back across the country, you're not going to risk that. So not only is this important from a South Carolina perspective, Boeing will win in court because this is a bastardization of the law. This is a frivolous complaint beyond imagination. This is using the law for a political purpose, and I really do resent that. But the idea that we're not going to fight back, Senator Reid, please help us here. This could affect you. This could affect everybody. From a Republican point of view in the Senate, Senator DeMint and I are going to make this a issue, and if it's not an issue in the 2012 election, the Republican Party, shame on you. If our candidates for president are not looking that camera in the eye, not just in South Carolina and say, I will appoint people to the National Labor Relations Board that will follow the law, and I will not use it as a way to micromanage the economy. If they don't talk about the consequences to American job creation from unelected bureaucrats having the ability to shut down a billion dollar plant, then we've made a huge mistake. So we need to take this fight to the streets and have a vote on the floor of the United States Senate. What have we been doing up here for months? We're sitting around looking at each other, and this is a defining moment in American business life. Why shouldn't we be talking about this? What could Harry Reid tell the American people that would justify not taking this up? Whether you agree with me or not, isn't this worth our time? Isn't this a good use of the most deliberative body in the history of the world to be talking about whether or not an unelected bureaucracy should have the power to shut down a plant that was invested by a billion dollars a year after they made the investment? If that's not worth our time, if that's not important, what the hell would be? So we're going to talk about this, and we're going to try to vote, and I'd like to do it in a bipartisan fashion. Because I can tell you in South Carolina, Republicans and Democrats see this the same.